hello everyone welcome back once again and first of all thanks for subscribing my channel this is a small announcement regarding the new azure batch which i'm planning to start from 20th march let me quickly share the details for the same so i'll go to my latest blog and in this training i'm planning to cover azure admin and azure architect and azure devops part of it right so basically i'm planning to cover three modules one is administration and architect technologies and then uh, third one is azure devops right you can appear for these certifications okay after uh, practicing it for a couple of days and the initial three demos are for free and you can join uh, using the link mentioned over here on 20th march and the timing is morning 6 30 to 8 you guys can use the zoom link or you can simply uh, click on this demo, view demo link you can uh, directly join if you have any questions or you want to collaborate you can join the whatsapp group and if you have any questions you can drop me a note or you can call me on this number and a prerequisite as i mentioned here it, it's it's going to be admin and uh, architect side of the uh, cloud right so the prerequisites will be a basic system administration like windows and linux administration will give you an value add and uh, on-premise virtualization will also uh, give you some value add to the cloud training right so uh, the fee is it's 15000 if you go for the installments you, have, you can pay two installments 7500 uh, per installment and if you go for a one time payment you can you'll get 2000 discount and you can pay 13000 right i mentioned a few demo sessions on, and uh, uh, more more videos on my youtube channel you guys can review them right let me quickly share the course content i'll go to home page here and click on course content okay so this 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 has to be updated so we'll start with the basic cloud understanding what is cloud and uh, how this uh, cloud platforms functions and then uh, uh, what is the difference between your traditional on-premise and cloud that we will try to understand at the very basic level and then we'll start with the Azure networking side of the story. And then we'll talk about network security. Again, advanced network security with the firewalls. And then we'll talk about Azure virtual machines and uh, Azure high availability solution designing using load balancers, which has two types of load balancers. One is basic and standard. And using DNS, how you can uh, resolve the public DNS. Okay, that we will test. And then we'll talk about application gateway, which is again, uh, um, what I'll say, uh, high available solution and scaling using virtual machine scale sets, how you can scale your applications in Azure that we will discuss. And then we'll talk about storage. We'll talk about backup and disaster recovery and we'll jump on to databases. Then we'll talk about pass applications, which is Azure app services and move on to moving on to security. We'll talk about Azure Active Directory, how you will integrate your on-premise Active Directory with the Azure AD and AD Sync and all those things we'll discuss over here. And we'll talk about uh, Azure role-based access control and other stuff. And also we'll talk about the uh, what I'll say, service principles and stuff, how you can manage them in the cloud. Right, so that we will focus on Azure Active Directory and moving on to uh, Azure based and automation. So how you can use the desired state configurations and stuff, right? And run books and uh, other stuff, how you will manage that we will discuss. And we'll talk about developing the microservices of containerized, containerized applications in Azure, how you can manage them and how you can deploy them using AKS that we will discuss here and monitoring, reporting, troubleshooting and anal analyzing the issues, how you can do that in Azure that we will discuss over here. And I will talk about two or uh, in fact, I'll, I'll say three components over here. I need to update these components on the top. So one is NAT gateway, which is again a net part of a network and CDN, again, your um, uh, content delivery network, which is a uh, caching mechanism for your websites. But, and then your web application firewall for your website security on the front. Right? Also, there is another component called Azure Front Door, which comes with the CDN and WAF both, right? So which provides you the load balancing as well as the CDN caching. And also you can enable the WAF, I think, yeah, you can enable the WAF. On the application gateway, we can enable the WAF. Let me see. Yeah, that's that's something I need to uh, check on the uh, specific module. But yeah, you guys can 
discuss in the actual class, right? And then we'll talk about uh, migration projects, how you can migrate the on-premise workloads from Azure to, uh, sorry, from on-premise to Azure, and how you can uh, manage the building and stuff, right? And then we'll talk about infrastructure as a code, how you can manage the deployments, uh, code deployment, or I would say infrastructure deployment using your various infrastructure as a code tools, which is your uh, Azure ARM templates, and then your uh, uh, Terraform and all these things we'll try to cover in this module, right? And then we'll talk about <clears throat> Azure DevOps, how we can integrate Azure DevOps with your Azure solution. So how we can manage your CI/CD pipelines, how we can manage your deployments, both infrastructure as well as the application deployments using Azure DevOps that we'll try to cover over here. And then we'll talk about function and logic apps and kind of an overview since we don't have the active uh, scenarios to test. We'll kind of cover through an overview on function and logic apps and your Azure management and governance when it comes to an auditing and uh, your quarterly, half yearly, yearly audit. So how you, you can use this Azure governance services to generate the reports and uh, submit to the management. So these kind of uh, scenarios that we will try to cover. And at the end, we'll talk about certification and project roadmap. So how you can uh, practice your scenarios and how you can uh, build the projects by your own after practicing these sessions that we will try to cover at the end. So this, this is going to be overall, uh, I would say, uh, 60 hours training program, daily one and a half hours, Monday to Saturday. And I would need roughly 40 to 40, 45 days to cover off this whole program. It's going to be starting from 20th March. Okay, you guys can utilize the initial few demos and you can uh, continue later. So I'll see you on the demo sessions. Thank you all and have a good day.